Hello everyone and welcome to Condemned to PVM, the series in which I'll be trying to get one of every single drop in the game from every single boss in the game. I plan for this to be an epic series and it'll probably take months upon months if not even an entire year to complete, however I will eventually be able to say that I have gotten every single drop in the entire game and also along the way I will be obtaining the side objective of getting the final boss title. What exactly classifies as a boss and what doesn't? For the most part, I let Jagex decide that for me as I just go into the beast tab here. I will be completing everything within this tab and getting all the drops from it as well as killing at least 100 of every single one of these bosses to get the final boss title. However, I will be making a couple changes. First of all, I will not be getting all the drops from the Barrows Brothers because I feel that's more of a mini game than a boss fight and also most of their drops are not worth a whole lot. And thirdly, there are many series on YouTube related to getting all the drops from the Barrows Brothers. However, if an overwhelming majority of you would like to see me get every Barrows drop in the game, I will definitely go for that, but I personally just do not feel it's a boss fight and will not be going for it unless that is the case. Second of all, Giant Mole will not be completed because Giant Mole does not have any, any high value unique drops. The only unique drop he has that's worth a decent amount is the Dragon 2H Sword, but I will be getting one of those from Calphite Queen as well as the Chaos Elemental. To make up for the fact that I'm dropping two creatures that Jagex clarifies as bosses but I don't feel the same way, I will be adding three to make up for that. So first of all I'll be adding Automatons, then Glacors, as well as Tormented Demons because I feel like all three of these, even though technically they're not classified as bosses, they're classified as Slayer creatures, they do have a lot of requirements to get to them, they all have unique combat mechanics and all of them drop high value unique items which are quite rare, which definitely makes it more of a boss than something like Barrows. So in this series I will need to get a 100 next to every single one of these bosses in order to qualify for the final boss title and hopefully almost all of these will be done just part of the course along with doing the series. The only ones that won't be done just along with doing everything anyway is Fight Kiln as well as the Barrows Brothers and Giant Mole since I won't be focusing on those. However, I will take time out to do all of those bosses and I assume it probably won't take too much time away from the series and I should be able to get a nice final boss title to PVM with along with all the extra loot that I'll get from killing those. So that's really all there is to it. I just need to get one of every single draw from all of these bosses that qualify in my series and I should be able to get the final boss title as well and it should be really awesome seeing the tab at the end. I will be selling all of the boss drops, however I will be keeping very close track of how much they sold for and price check all of the GP along with that. I am unfortunately unable to keep all of the boss drops because I'm limited by both bank space and funds. And I will be keeping all of the drops that are not unique drops, not boss specific items such as herbs, seeds, logs, stuff like that and I will be keeping a full tab for that and I will be price checking that at the end of every episode along with all the coins that I sold all of the drops for. So since this is week one, I figured it was appropriate to go for probably the most famous bosses in RuneScape history, the God Wars Dungeon. So this first episode of the series will have a lot of clips of drops within it, and the main reason for that is I did do a Bando series of 500 Bando Skills loot video actually, in which I managed to get a ton of drops. I got extremely lucky. I will completely 100% admit that. Unfortunately, I was not able, not able to pick up every single Bandos item. I'm not really sure if that's unfortunate or not. Maybe that's a blessing in disguise with the luck that I've managed to have there. Um, however, I did manage to pick up several duplicates, and the duplicates were, for the most part, the most expensive items in the chest plate and the tacits I got by far. A lot more than those than the cheaper Bandos items, such as like hilts and gloves and stuff like that. I also did some other God Wars dungeon, but most of the stuff on here is going to be Bandos because the other God Wars bosses have not been quite as kind to me, except for maybe Sarah Doman. Some of you might feel that Sarah Doman has been pretty kind to me, and you'll see exactly why I say that uh, when we get to the Sarah Doman clips. But I managed to pick myself up four chest plates and four tacits. Of course, if you did see the loot from 500 Bandos, you've already seen all of these drops as I have not returned to Bandos since then, although I will be going back there in the future, and any of the drops that I get then will be in, of course, maybe a later episode when I do a return to God Wars Dungeon, but uh, the next one will not be me doing God Wars Dungeon. I'll definitely be focusing on something else. Not really sure what it is, but there have been a couple drop, a couple bosses in the series that have already been finished off. I don't want to spoil too much, um, but there have been a couple that I've kind of no-lifed and gotten a lot of drops from and have already been completed and all the clips are saved up. One other thing that I do have to warn you guys about is there will be a few clips that are missed. I only believe there's about two drops out of all the God Wars Dungeon drops that I wasn't able to record. 
And the main reason for that is I'm recording with Camtasia, which is a laggy recording software on kind of an older PC that's really not the best. Um, I will have a new PC soon, so hopefully all of the drops in the future and all the clips of those in the future will be recorded on a newer PC where I won't have that problem and I will not have to worry about any lag or anything when I record clips. So that drop there was really cool. Bandos Tacits and an effigy in one drop. I've managed a couple drops like that where I've managed not only a unique drop from a boss, but an effigy as well in the exact same kill. And I think that's really sweet when that happens. Um, I think that's the only instance of that happening in the God Wars dungeon excel itself, other than the fact that I did get one drop later on that I will I will mention that was not able to be recorded where I got the FG and the drop in one single drop at the same time. For now, I'm not including clips of stuff like effigies or maybe drops that are rare but not necessarily a unique boss drop, like for example if I got 100 noted battle staffs or something like that, for example, or just anything interesting that happens. However, in future episodes, I probably will be doing that as we're finally done with the bandos drops and into the other bosses, um, as it will be difficult when I'm doing some of the bosses like Virago or Rise of the Six where the drops are quite rare, and it will be a lot harder to store up on clips if I'm only recording when I actually get a drop. But for stuff like God Wars Dungeon when the drops aren't too rare, I think I can mostly just st stick to drop clips. The only two drops I've gotten from Armbill so far are a buckler, and I actually got the buckler off of a minion, which is pretty crazy how rare that is, um, although unfortunately it was the buckler. And then I got a chest plate off of Armadil himself or herself. And I did miss the drop that I talked about earlier, and that was a Zamorak hilt. So I've had two drops from Zamorak. Unfortunately, I just was not able to record the hilt, but I've had a hood, hood of subjugation as well as a Zamorak hilt. And speaking of hilts, we go to Saradoman, and yes, I did get pretty lucky at Saradoman. You'll see when you see how many kills I've actually done of Saradoman. I got way too many hilts. Hilts, as in, yes, there were more than one hilt. I actually got two hilts, and you'll see the second one coming up in just a second. And I haven't even done 100 kills of Saradoman yet. So, no, I do not deserve to have two hilts quite yet, but they have happened. As well as a nice little Saradoman sword and an Armadil crossbow that I'll pick up. I was just doing a death daily challenge, and I managed to get a sword, a crossbow, and a hilt. All in about 25 kills of Saradoman. It was just ridiculous. I had no idea what happened to my luck that day, but I'm not arguing with it. Unfortunately, the hilts have crashed a lot since Instance God Wars Dungeon came out, and they're worth about half of what they were a couple months ago. But still, managing to pick up two hilts in under 200 kills is nice. Hopefully, I'll get some amulets soon because Sarah is in a slayer task and it kind of sucks going there. Anyway, that's it for the drops. Let's get into the tab and see the progress so far. So I have created some simple graphics to just show off what drops have been obtained so far and also the total kill count. One could argue that these are not the greatest looking graphics of all time and one would be correct in doing so. But all that's left for Bandos is gloves and the war shield. So unfortunately I actually want a war shield when I go to Bandos. Next up we go to Armadil and the only drops I've gotten from Armadil so far have been a chest plate as well as an Armadil buckler. I've only been to Armadil on Slayer Task. I haven't made any trips there other than just when Curdle tells me to, so hopefully over time with enough Slayer tasks done, I will be able to pick up all the drops that Armadil drops. Next on the list is Zami. I have also been doing Zami on Slayer task, however, it's not nearly as good Slayer XP as Armadil with the instance. God Wars Dungeon is a lot better Slayer XP than it used to be, and it's technically worth doing. However, I really don't enjoy Zami, so a lot of times I just skip greater tasks, but hopefully if I get a couple really lucky Zami tasks, we'll get, be able to get some progress done with Zami. And finally, Sarah Doman, and as you can see, 163 kills and already two hilts, a crossbow, and a sword. Just ridiculous luck there. So hopefully I can get lucky with the amulets as well and finish off Sarah Doman quickly because this is probably my least favorite God Wars Dungeon boss to go to. So I have kept very close track of all the drops that I've got at God Wars Dungeon that were not actual drops from bosses, and I have kept close track of those too, but I'm going to price check all of this stuff, and you'd really be surprised how much this adds up, especially Bandos' drops. They add up to be a lot when you camp them for a long period of time. So I made a really nice chunk of change just from the non-drops themselves. Unfortunately, Saradome and Armadil, their non-boss drops are pretty, pretty crappy. And especially with the drops going down now in price, I'm glad I sold everything when I did. Um, I did hold on to one Armadil chest plate and one Armadil buckler just because they are off Slayer tasks, so technically they are part of my Slayer tab. And I got a little over 6 mil in coins. That's what that little pile is just from picking up the coins from the bosses, which is just ridiculous. And then from all the boss drops themselves, it's about 88 mil. Those hilts and those tacits and chest plate made up the majority of that, which comes to 99 mil 0.5 in that last one with the cash and the armadil chest plate and buckler. 
So in total, I've made 133 mil from God Wars Dungeon, not counting supply costs, which I think is just ridiculous. But unfortunately, how you make money in God Wars Dungeon is by getting those really high value drops like the Tassus, chest plates, and hilts uh, from Ceridoman at least. And uh, regular drops other than that aren't going to make you a whole lot. And the boss drops that aren't worth a whole lot, they're like, there's a whole lot of God Wars Dungeon items that are worth like 500k to a mil. Those aren't going to profit you a whole lot. It's more just getting lucky that really makes you bank here. So we'll end off the episode here just looking at my boss kills tab and looking at the total amount of bosses I have so far towards final boss and how far I need to go. So I'm sure some bright people will definitely point out that the numbers in here are slightly different than the ones that I had up on my graphics earlier. However, the ones on my graphics earlier are the more correct ones. I look at the adventurer's log for the total amount of kills that I have done um, in a trip. I'll log out and then check my adventurer's log and record the amount of kills that I've done. And also, some of these are different because there have been a couple trips that I made where I just did not record the drops because I forgot or I was too tired or something like that. And I apologize for that, but I haven't gotten any drops uh, from the God Wars dungeon bosses themselves that have not been recorded in the series so far. So we're at about 3,000 total boss kills at the moment with 4,000 more to go until the final boss title. And I will be getting the final boss title before I actually end the series and get every single boss drop in the game because I really don't want to be ending the series camping fight killing or something like that for the title. That's just kind of a lame ending. I imagine I'll probably end the series at Nex because Nex has a lot of drops and it's going to take a really long time to get all of them. And truth be told, I'm not really looking forward to it, but I will eventually get that done. The only bosses that I really dread are Nex and Rots, and that's because it's sometimes difficult to find a team for them and it's just going to take a really long time. Uh, to get all the drops necessary from those. So that's about all for this first episode of the series. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed so far and are looking forward to future episodes. And I'm definitely pretty excited for the way that this series will go. Again, there won't be like a ton of episodes coming out like I have been doing for my Slayer series just because I'm focusing on Slayer right now. Although I do do some PVM along with this the Slayer just because sometimes you get tasked to go to God Wars Dungeon or go to Calfide King and stuff like that and I'll definitely take advantage of that so hopefully that will end up really well and I'll eventually manage to get some of these God Wars Dungeon bosses done as long with some of the other bosses that I already have done and uh, I will hopefully show in coming episodes but I'll see you guys with the next episode of the series make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and the next episode should probably be coming out in a week or so so stay hyped till then farewell I'm not afraid to